I think our initial goals for each year is that we want to win a national championship and compete with the best teams in the country. Yeah, you know, anytime you get a great senior class like we did defensively, you know, you're going to lose some really good guys like Don DeFazio and Dylan Harris, Joey Cannon, you know, they all moved on. Uh, but I think we got some guys that can move back. You know, Jimmy Case in his senior year should really help us down low there. Uh, and also Jake McGow is another guy that we really think is going to step in. He's had a couple great years for us at the close defense position. But we also have a couple other guys. I think Drew Costco, who's played a lot for us, is going to help us out there. Matt Wilson is also going to help us a lot in that position. We have a freshman named Nick Mullevy, who we think is very athletic and very talented. He has a real chance to start for us and has done a great job in the fall. And so those are some of the guys we're looking at right now. we got some few other guys in the mix, but those guys have really kind of separated themselves over the others, I believe. Yeah, you know, we lost JT Thielen. He's our all-time leading scorer on the left side. He's been there for four years, so it's going to be a little different without him. But, you know, we think we are, you know, and also losing gray at our midfield, who had a really solid year for us. But, you know, we returned pretty much eight of our nine next top scorers, and we're, we're pretty excited about that. I think Ethan Christensen, who's a second-team All-American last year, he'll be able to step up and continue his role of leading our offense. Jacob Tatum's one of the best attackmen in the country, we think. Uh, Will Smith thinks going to be able to shine now on the left-hand side, replacing JT, a really crafty scorer who can score in a phone booth. You know, Cam Leidig and Josh Brandon at the midfield are really going to do a great job. Lou Yanati is really a guy who's going to be able to step up. Uh, you know, Shane Ford and Ryan Coleman are another two guys that we think are going to be able to do some good things along with Connor Nelson and Jay Carrington. Those are all guys that we were very experienced who played a ton with us. They should be able to help us out on the offensive end. So we got an experienced group coming back. Losing JT and Gray is unfortunate, but we think we have some guys that can step up and replace them. Well, you know, it's always good to have some competition at the goalie, uh, goalie spot, and Sam's done, you know, been uh, an All-American his sophomore year for us and didn't work out as much for him last year. But, you know, Mark played great for us at the end of the year, really won us a few games and played really admirably. So those two are competing for that spot. You know, we don't have to make that decision right now, but those are two guys that are really playing well now, and all our goalies are playing well, which is really good. We're really happy about that. But those two are the two guys that we're looking at, and we'll make that decision when we have to. You know, we've always played one of the toughest schedules in the country, and this year is no exception. And I think, but that helps us get ready for conference play. Is why we've done so well in conference. You know, we want to play a certain way all year, and playing the best teams in the country help us do that week in and week out. And along with our two great scrimmages against W. Nell and Dickinson, so that really helps us get us ready for that postseason tournament. How we have to play, and understanding how you have to play each and every week. So we're excited for the challenge. It's always been really tough for us, but it's been that way for 10 years. We like it, and that's kind of how we go about our business.